He is known for his significant contributions to computer engineering in telecommunications. He is recognized for his development of the Hamming code, Hamming window, Hamming numbers, sphere packing, Hamming graph concepts, and the Hamming distance. His name is Richard Wesley Hamming. In the world of mathematics and computer engineering, one name stands out, Richard Wesley Hamming. His groundbreaking work in these fields has had a profound impact on the world of technology and telecommunications. Born in Chicago, Hamming pursued his education at prestigious institutions such as the University of Chicago, University of Nebraska, and the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. During his time at the Los Alamos Laboratory, Hamming played a crucial role in the Manhattan Project. He utilized IBM calculating machines to solve complex equations for the project's physicists. This experience laid the foundation for his future contributions to the field. In 1946, he joined the Bell Telephone Laboratories, where he became involved in numerous groundbreaking achievements over the next 15 years. Hamming's most notable contributions include the development of the Hamming Code, the Hamming Window, Hamming Numbers, Sphere Packing, Hamming Graph Concepts, and the Hamming Distance. These concepts and techniques have had far-reaching implications for computer engineering and telecommunications. In recognition of his exceptional contributions, Hamming was awarded the prestigious Turing Award in 1968. After retiring from Bell Labs in 1976, Hamming dedicated his time to teaching and writing books. He joined the Naval Postgraduate School in Monterey, California, as an adjunct professor and senior lecturer in computer science. He continued to inspire students and share his wealth of knowledge until his last lecture in December 1997. Tragically, just a few weeks later, Hamming passed away from a heart attack on January 7, 1998. Richard Wesley Hamming's legacy as a brilliant mathematician and computer engineer lives on through his groundbreaking contributions and dedication to education. His work continues to shape the world of technology and telecommunications, reminding us of the immense impact a single individual can have on the course of human progress. In the midst of World War II, Richard found himself at the center of an extraordinary endeavor that would shape the course of history. Tasked with the daunting mission of developing an atomic bomb, Richard's genius and leadership would soon become the driving force behind the Manhattan Project. As a part of Hans Bethe's division, Richard joined the Los Alamos Laboratory in April 1945. His role involved programming the IBM calculating machines that computed the solutions to equations provided by the project's physicists. His wife Wanda also joined him, working as a human computer for Beta and Edward Teller. Richard's time at Los Alamos exposed him to groundbreaking advancements. Although he described his role as a computer janitor, he had the opportunity to witness computer simulations of experiments that were otherwise impossible to perform in a laboratory. This realization left a profound impact on Richard, as he understood that science was about to undergo a significant transformation. Hashtag break hashtag after his time at Los Alamos, Richard accepted a position at the Bell Telephone Laboratories in 1946. As he made his way to New Jersey, he purchased Klaus Fuchs's old car. However, his decision to sell the car just a few weeks before Fuchs was exposed as a spy raised suspicion from the FBI, leading to an interrogation. Despite the challenges and uncertainties, Richard's involvement in the Manhattan Project had a lasting impact on his perspective. It opened his eyes to the immense potential of scientific advancements and the ways in which they would reshape the world. Hashtag break hashtag in the midst of the war, Richard's dedication and expertise played a crucial role in the Manhattan Project. Alongside his fellow scientists, he contributed to the development of the atomic bomb, with the goal of ensuring that the United States would possess this powerful weapon before its enemies. Richard's time at Los Alamos was not without its anxieties. The scientists were concerned that the Germans might be ahead in developing an atomic weapon. This urgency and pressure only fueled their determination to succeed in their mission. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.